Hello. Before the video begins, I'd like to mention that I'll be doing a 50 subscriber giveaway at the end of the video, so stick around. Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Varen, and today I'll be explaining how to create simple weak auras to track your damage over time bleeds and bathe in blood stacks. Whether you are a blood god or not, I believe you can get useful information out of this guide as I go over what weak auras are, where to find the weak auras menu, and then finally how to create your very own buff and debuff weak auras. Firstly, what is a weak aura? Well, it's simply a customizable display that users can create to track abilities and items with ease. Making a clean weak aura allows for better tracking of ability falloffs, so you can quickly reapply dots to keep the dream of 100% uptime alive. By simply clicking on the add-ons and mods menu in the ascension launcher and scrolling a bit, you will find weak auras. It's a really quick download, and after it's complete, you should have a weak auras button on your map in-game. Also, download ID tips as well. We will need the ID numbers of spells for creating proper weak auras. After clicking on the weak auras button or typing in game slash WA, you'll find yourself looking at an intimidating menu. There are definitely a lot of crazy and intricate ways to build weak auras, though for today I'm going to keep it simple and clean. To start, we're going to create a tracker for debuffs. As an example, I'm going to track Rupture. First click New Aura, and then create a progress bar. Name it however you like. I'll name mine Rupture 2 since I have Rupture taken. Now, under Triggers, leave it as an Aura, but change the unit from Player to Target, and the Aura Type from Buff to Debuff. After doing this, scroll down and under the Spell Selection Filter, check Exact Spell ID. Look at your ability's description, and at the bottom you should see a Spell ID due to downloading ID tip earlier. Copy and paste the ID in the text bar, and now you should have a debuff tracker for that ability locked. To make it so you don't see other players' debuffs on your tracker, check Own Only under Active Aura Filters and Info, and after all this is done, go to Display. You can leave basically everything as is, but if you want to have the ability icon on the trackers, then check the Show Icons button, and personally, I changed my icon position from right to left, though it's completely up to you. Now you should have a working debuff tracker. Next, creating a buff tracker is actually relatively the same, though I like to use an icon instead. Keep the trigger unit on player and aura type to buff. Do exactly as I said for the debuff, copy the spell ID and you'll have a buff tracker complete as well. As a bonus, I couldn't find the spell ID for Bathe in Blood when I was first making my aura, so with a bit of world chat questioning, I actually found it. The spell ID is 983095, and you'll have a 30 stack buff tracking Bathe in Blood. Lastly, I want to go over how I created my combo point bar. I know it's a pain looking up at the boss's portrait trying to count up combo points while also dodging incoming attacks, so I feel for everyone. Here's how it's done. Create a new aura progress bar. Now under type, you're going to put player unit instead of aura. Where it says health, click it and choose combo points. Check combo points. Change the operator to less than or equal to and the amount of combo points to five. And now you should have a combo point bar created that will simply track how many points you have on target. Also, if you'd like to know where I have my abilities, then this is where I put my abilities on the X and Y axis. X is all negative 280, while Y is slightly changed up or down to give spacing for each bar. All right, making it this far, I hope the information I've explained about weak auras, where to find them, and how to create one helps you to create your very own working clean weak aura UI for yourself. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also consider liking and subscribing as I'll be making more content related to Ascension WoW in the future. Now onto the giveaway. Alright everyone, I'm glad you made it this far into the video. I did promise I was doing a giveaway and today I was given two potions of experience by the character named Short Stacko. I can post a picture somewhere on my screen and I'm actually going to double up on his offer and I'm gonna add three more potions of experience into the pool. In the comments section, if you write blood for the blood god and the name of your character, I will choose one of the commenters at random to obtain a potion of experience. This has been Varen and I wish you all a good day.